In Milwaukee, the disappointing Packers were playing host to the sometimes hot Saints. But with Jerry Taggy starting at quarterback, the pack wasn't going to disappoint anybody. Three times, Taggy brought Green Bay to successful field goal range. Meanwhile, the Green Bay defense supplied the squeeze to Archie Manning. The pressure finally paid a dividend when Al Matthews, number 29, intercepted and darted unimpeded 58 yards for six. A repeat of the play shows that the ball was deflected off the hands of St. running back Joe Prophet, number 23, before Matthews snatched it out of the air and headed for a victory dance in the end zone. New Orleans' only touchdown of the afternoon came on an Archie Manning hookup with number 86, Jubilee Dunbar, who displayed his stop and spike technique. With the Saints closing at 13-10, Jerry Taggy took the option into his own hands and rambled 41 yards to put the Packers ahead 20-10. Repeat of the play shows that although Taggy is not Impala-like in his swiftness, he did manage to wind his way in for six with little in the way of opposition. But despite Jerry Taggy's offensive flare-up, the day belonged to the Packer defense, and they finished it fittingly on Jim Carter's interception and 42-yard return to make the final score Green Bay 30, New Orleans 10.